Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Karibuni katika Gashi's Kamang TV, the tallest man in Black Africa. When Gadiga Shagwa and Moses Wetagula, the speaker of the National Assembly met last week, eyebrows were raised. Discussion emerged online and in the ministerial media. Watu wakawa maswali chugunzima because I've always opined in this channel that a toad does not run in the daytime for nothing. When you see a frog or a toad hopping during the daytime, know that something is after its life. And we have always opined in politics that usually uh, this is a game, a game of meticulous planning meant to achieve a certain goal. Kuvo yale mabo ya kusema ni sadifa, yale mabo ya kusema mabo ya metokea pasi na mpago wote ni mabo abayo hawezekani katika siyasa. Kuvo the big question in this video is, what is Mudavadi? Not Mudavadi for that. What is Wetagula? And Gashagwa eh, are after. What are they after? What are they after? What is this that um, is making them to meet? And we know very well that William Samoruto cannot allow the two to meet just anyhow. So I know if they met, uh, and when they met, I think William Samoruto was not aware that they were meeting. Kwa sababu sidhani kama naweza kumuruhusu regali ya shagwa, abayani naibu wake kukutana na wetagula, and you know constitutionally, wetagula is the third in the line, constitutionally. If the office of the president and the deputy president becomes vacant, Wetagula would become the president of the Republic of Kenya, not Mudavadi. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to look at the various reasons which, according to my view, made these two powerful men to meet. Number one, in my view, is that uh, these guys uh, could be planning to form a political party. A political party maybe after 2027 or even before 2027. They must be planning to work together. When Kibaki and Wamalo and Giro used to meet, people did not know that they were forming NAC. And it is NAC that united with the LDP that finally uh, came to form the government, the NAC government. And uh, so, wakati ya bapo unaona haa watu waki kutana, Lazima kuna mpago wa kufanya kazi pamoja. This could be post Ruto's uh, uh, time. Ineza ikawa ni kama ni post 2027 or even before 2027. Number two in my view, these guys are united in fear. Najua uh, when the buffaloes walk together, not that they love each other. But they won't protect each other in case they are attacked by a predator like a lion. Here, the predator must be uh, William Samuel Ruto and also Musari Mudavadi. When you look at William Samuel Ruto, William Samuel Ruto has been trying to elevate Musari Mudavadi at the expense of Regadi Gashagwa. Kufo kure kujaribu kumuinua mudavadi ni suwala abalo linaweza e, kuleta matatizo megi. Linaweza kumuletea au kumutatiza. Uh, Ligadhi kashago. Kwa sababu inasemekana kwa ba after the merger, mudavadi will be the second in command in UDA. Again, when you look at um, weta, wetagula anawasiwasi sana kwa sababu ya natebea. Natebea kwa pale. Na nakwabia anatebea kote kote na kokote anatebea watu na mfuata wakitebea wakisema tawe, 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 tawe. So you can see the fear now. Although it is being said that um, uh, Natebea is actually sponsored by William Samoruto uh, to force these two leaders, that is Mudavadi and Wetagula, to join or to fold their party. Lakini inajua hatuna uh, ushahidi wa kutosha 
kusema ni kweli lakini ilisema walipo na kama halipo ulaja asubuhi jioni asubuhi ilgoje jioni so this is something that could be happening so these two leaders are united in fear and they could be planning how to tackle the two and i know William Samoruto is worried kwa sababu regarding shagwa lazima alikuwa na mwabia eh nani alikuwa na mwabia na Moses wetangula akai gumu asikubali kuvuja chama chake kwa sababu akivuja itakuwa ni makosa makubwa sana because you know the people of Mount Kenya have realized their mistake that they went they joined William Samoruto's party without their own party and this could be the reason why eh, Gashagwa want to form his own party The other thing is that um, there could be plans to impeach Rigathi Gashagwa. Maybe Gashagwa has uh, learned something. You know the easiest way to remove Gashagwa from office is to mobilize members of parliament and impeach him and even the senators and that one would pass very easily. Kufo kama kuna fununu kama hizo na yule mtu ambaye anaweza kuanzisha kazi kama hii ya kumtimua ofisini ni William Samuel Ruto because All said and done, Gashagwa holds sway the people of Mount Kenya. Tena ukiangalia utaona kwamba when you look at um, Mount Kenya, kuna viongozi wengi ambao wanawekwa pale na William Samuel Ruto kama dede nyoro pale just to tame or, or contain Rigathi Gashagwa. Kwa ukiangalia utaona ya kwamba labda kama kuna mpango wa kumtimua ofisini na kumleta mtu mwingine kama dede nyoro, maybe uh, Gashagwa could now be trying to convince Wetagula to protect him maybe by throwing such a motion out uh, of a parliament such that he doesn't see the, day, the right of the day and again uh, there is also the issue of impeaching Susan Nakumicha huyu ni waziri wa afya abaye ameshindwa kutatua matatizo ambayo yanawahusu madaktari matatizo ambayo yanahusu sekta ya afya and babu owino is prepared to lead the impeachment motion against the cs health and maybe igashagwa was trying to convince um uh, nani wetagula how to protect or how to draw this motion out how to ensure susan nakumicha or the president is not embarrassed kuvu inawezekana ikawa hata ruto alikuwa amemtuma But I wonder why William Samuel Ruto would said regarding Gashagwa or he just he can just call uh, uh, Wetagula in his office mwambie nataka hivi na hivi or just please a phone call mwambie nisikie uh, my cabinet uh, secretary ameenda so ni jambo ambalo linaweza kuleta um, uh, matatizo mengi sana again these guys could be planning to spoil for William Samuel Ruto they can easily spoil for William Samuel Ruto in 2027 if they unite do they William Samuel Ruto would become the president and do you know that William Samuel Ruto could not have become the president of the Republic of Kenya without Mudavadi and Wetagula what now if you unite the two leaders they will definitely make William Samuel Ruto a one term president kitu kimoja bacho watu wanafaa kujua ni kwamba kuna watu ambao wanaweza kuja pamoja very easily and stop William Samoruto from becoming the president in 2027 how are we wakija pamoja gashagwa achukue tu nyeri wachukue about because i know if he said he want to be popular you can to be popular he must oppose William Samoruto because definitely many people would like William Samoruto to have just one term in office sasa watu wakianza kumuuga mkono definitely William Samuel Ruto cannot make it watu wa western vile vile wakiona uh, wetagula kijaribu kumpiga William Samuel Ruto i think they would be very very happy and that would be a brilliant move that would be a move of a genius that would shape the politics of this uh, country again maybe kuna wakati ambapo ulisikia mudavar kizungumzia kuhusu tsunami the impending tsunami and many people do not understand what he meant i've always tried to find out what he meant and i've just seen maybe this is just hot air but um the fact that gashagwa could be impeached that maybe that is the only tsunami that could be coming and once it comes you know it would make mudavadi maybe the dp ni jambo ambalo linaweza likafanyika maybe that is what he meant 
na kama kashagu anajua hivi labda eh, uh, dio sababu akamwedea eh, speaker again you know very well that um Gashagu has been struggling to be the Mount, uh, Mount Kenya kingpin the same case applies to Wetagula so they could be trying to come up with ways of how they can win the favors the hearts of the uh, their, their tribesmen because in this country politics is always tribal and regional whether you like it or not uh, it always take that ago which is very very unfortunate because tribalism has actually destroyed this country tribalism is something that should be stopped at all costs uh, but we cannot run away from the reality because that is the reality of our politics kwa kule kuja pamoja ni swala balo limezua um, mjadala mkali na mjadala huu lazima utaendelea and guys why do you think these two leaders met according to you do you think they just met like that lazima kuwe na sababu and do you think kuna some other toys up when these two guys are meeting what are they after that is a big question that is the elephant in the room so guys as you show please I request you to like this video, leave a comment, share, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. Today we shall be live, uh, Johnny Johnny, um, around some Sanga PV around 9:30. We shall be live around 9:30. Have a blessed day. Bye bye.